This is the worst game I've ever played. This might be the best game I've ever played. And this is a spoiler warning. I'm giving you plenty of time to click away now. Everyone dies. This is Elden Ring, boys. We already knew that was gonna happen. What do you, what do you have to say? Jesus fucking Christ. Shadow of the Erd Tree is the DLC of the culmination of six famously and notoriously difficult games. What is difficulty in modern games without souls like? 19 hour destiny raids? It almost was 19 hours, 18 hours and 51 minutes. So you tell me why people are leaving bad reviews on the Elden Ring DLC's performance then. Like, are you fucking serious? I do not have a 4090 graphics card at this point. You are so bad at the fucking game. I just finished the DLC. It took me around 30 hours and I did pretty much everything. So why was I seeing these reviews on the game being too hard come out like one day after the DLC released? Why were these people trying to level one speed run the game and then going on Reddit forums to complain that Rolana's twin moon magic has three attacks? Wait, that actually doesn't make sense. These weren't real people. Most bad reviews I see now are about performance issues and other criticisms that aren't fucking stupid. But uh, the new drama is that retarded people can't play this game. Oh, my bad. I meant people with kids. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and two infants. You know what I do when my kids need me and I can't pause? I let my character die and I try again later. So you have children and you're still on Twitter responding to posts like this. Can you just abort next time? No, my favorite part is the rebuttals to these comments. Uh, no, actually, uh, being a parent does mean you're retarded. Let's back up for a second. Now that I've beat the game like a normal person, what do I think? My opinion's the only one that matters here, boys. So what is it? Is the Elden Ring DLC too hard? Absolutely not. What the fuck? Yes. Okay, it's not that hard. Don't let everyone scare you. Listen, the difficulty isn't even the whole game either. You gotta remember the incredible the characters, the unique storytelling, the beautiful world down. design. The world design in particular stands out. Now that they uh, put a weird Instagram filter over the whole thing. <clears throat> Correct opinion time. This is the section where I give you my opinion, and as usual, uh, you could totally disagree with it. But in this case, if you disagree with me, you're fucking wrong. Repeating bosses is not fun. FromSoft. I hate that they got this criticism in the base game, and then they still decided to keep repeating the same tree bosses over and over for the DLC. I don't want to do this! Here's the same dragon boss you fought 20 times already, but uh, now instead of 50,000 health, he has 50 million. Oh, were you enjoying the world design? <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't have fun in FromSoft games. To be honest, the DLC is kind of designed to waste your time in between big boss battles. I mean, heck, the first enemy in the game has 300 boogillion health. Um. What the f- And there's like six of these guys. Elden Ring made the open world system work with their formula by adding these maps that you could pick up that would detail the lands and give you an idea of where points of interest could be. In the DLC though, you have to use Google Maps. Then they throw 10 repeat dragon bosses in your way. But criticisms aside, the main bosses are the star here. FromSoft is in top form here, baby. You won't find better boss art design, boss lore, boss music. And I think the fights themselves are some of the most fun I've had in any Souls game. Oh my god! I'm the best in the game. The way people were talking about him, I, I literally thought the game was impossible. I thought I was actually gonna be fighting Sekiro reskins for the entire game. He's fucking teleporting? Is this real? But uh, I'm not sure how I feel about every phase two featuring a nuclear fucking explosion in their moveset, but let me think about it. So if you're fighting a new boss here and they haven't detonated anything, it's probably safe to assume they're not done yet. Like, they have to explode every time. But don't get me wrong, this is the best kind of progression. Where other games give you digital money, or a PlayStation trophy, or probably a microtransaction link. I just want to play the game! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Elden Ring gives you proof. Proof that you can learn, grow, and get better as a person. There will be times in my life where I can't see a path forward, 
Then I can look back and remember that I thought I'd be stuck forever on this fucking repeat lightning drag with way too much Are you getting bullied at school by guys who are stronger, better looking, more intelligent, have way more friends, and pull way more bitches? And probably have way more money than you. Do they know you beat millennia with a club? These bosses are fantastic. And I'm going to remember every single one of them. Except this weird skeleton on a horse. So yeah, I think the discourse around the difficulty is calming down now that everyone's actually playing the game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I hate the Souls-like community just as much as the next guy. I hope they all suffer. But I also genuinely have no idea what people were talking about. I mean, I had a little bit of a hard time on Dancing Lion. Uh, then there were these guys in my comment section. Wow, I am so happy that you beat the dancing lion on your first try. And I wish you nothing but the best in your journey of finding a single person that will love you in your entire life. This was a lie, by the way. I beat the DLC now, and my firm opinion on the matter is that the dancing lion was the hardest boss in the DLC. And you can't convince me otherwise. Walk up in this bitch life. What did I say? 30 hours for the DLC? Uh, I mean 20. I was stuck on the final boss for 10 hours. I don't know if that counts. This guy is so hard. <laughs> oh, I was just bracing myself for the endless barrage of dislikes and negative comments telling me how I'm a worthless human being for not being able to beat him first try while blindfolded and playing with the Dance Dance Revolution pad. People agree with me now? Anyone that's fought Radon knows why he's so hard. We all know about that attack. If you haven't played him yet and don't care about fight spoilers, Prepare yourself. You won't believe it unless I show you. Behold, Radon's best attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, he turned into a meteor. Oh my god, what do I do? Oh shit. That was the wrong footage. Sorry, that was his worst attack. Behold, Radon's best attack. No, my bad, that was his second worst attack. Feast your eyes on Radon's best- It's this one. I'm not kidding. This is why I was stuck for 10 hours. How the fuck do you dodge that? That's the hardest attack of the game. That's the hardest attack in the fucking game and I can't dodge it. It's impossible to dodge. Bro, that's impossible to dodge. I don't know how to fucking die! It's not funny. So what I'm saying is, the DLC is pretty good. Elden Ring, and especially the DLC, has its flaws and surprisingly valid criticisms for sure. But so does every game. I think you should play it if you like the feeling of overcoming challenges. Or if you like the feeling of fighting the same lightning dragon for two hours just to be one shot by shit you can't fucking see. And you don't gotta play it like me. No shirt, dual katanas, forcing yourself not to level up. You can summon and use a great shield if you want, guys. It's okay. You're a pussy. I will make sure you understand that. Kiss me in the rain tonight.